The feudal system in Japan, Sengoku and Edo periods explained. Welcome to our video on the feudal system in Japan during the Sengoku and Edo periods. During these periods, Japan was ruled by a series of shoguns who were military dictators. In the Sengoku period, which lasted from the 15th to the 16th century, Japan was divided into a number of regional states, each controlled by a daimyo or landowning lord. These daimyos were expected to provide military support to their shoguns in exchange for land and protection. Under the feudal system, peasants worked the land of the daimyos and paid them taxes. The Sengoku period was marked by intense warfare between the different daimyos as they vied for power and control. This period in Japanese history is often referred to as the Age of Warring States. In the Edo period, which began in the 17th century and lasted until the mid-19th century, Japan was reunified under the Tokugawa shogunate. The Tokugawa shoguns implemented a system known as Bakuhan, which centralized control over the country. Under this system, the daimyos were required to spend alternating years in Edo, the shogun's capital, and in their home provinces. The peasants continued to work the land and pay taxes to their daimyos, but the overall level of warfare decreased significantly during the relative peace of the Edo period. And that's a brief overview of the feudal system in Japan during the Sengoku and Edo periods. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.